Man United won, Newcastle United won in a very, very lucky performance, to be honest with you. Um, I am struggling to see the change, the impact of Ralph Randick at the moment. It's still early doors, but I saw some really concerning things today, man. Um, as the players are coming out, the Man United players, they won't be very happy with that. Um, where do I start? Where do I start? Just such a poor performance, a lucky result. Uh, Varane come back in at fault for the first goal. My Rolls Royce turned into a little bit of a courser in that moment, um, but did okay after that. But every time that Newcastle were pressing us, every time they were going forward, they looked so dangerous. St. Maximum was giving Dallo all sorts of problems for the whole game. Um, Joe Linton, and you know, Newcastle fans will probably tell you, I was talking to some people before the game, and I said, listen, Joe Linton is balling out of control right now. He was almost unplayable. He was everywhere. And Newcastle just worked harder than us. That was, the, that was actually the biggest thing I saw wrong with our performance was just not working hard enough. And I know it's like easy to pinpoint loads of other situations. We'll get into individual players. We'll get into players giving away the ball, players not being at it, players making bad decisions, the formation. But I look at the basic intensity of our game. It's, it's absolutely shocking. The willingness to play on the front foot, the willingness to play quickly, the willingness to play sharp, the willingness to try and put Newcastle under pressure, so, so poor, so, so poor. Players waiting for things to happen, being reactionary instead of proactive. Players expecting things to happen. I saw players sort of just kind of strutting around the pitch, just strutting around the pitch, Newcastle away, second bottom from the league, uh, in the league. Um, you, lot, you lot are brilliant. You lot are brilliant today. Um, they should have won. Newcastle, Newcastle United should have beaten us today. Um, but yeah, I saw this kind of strut from our players. It's almost like a bit of an arrogance to say, well, Man United will turn up here. We've got a new manager, 40, you know, 73 million coming off the bench. Cavani, yeah, we've got this, we've got that. And it was nowhere to be seen. I think a lot, of, a lot of pressure is on McTominay and Fred. I looked forward at the front line today in Ronaldo, Greenwood. Uh, I look at Rashford. Um, I know it's not Bruno's job to kind of run in behind, but he's an attacking player. But especially those three before that, the movement was absolutely non-existent. You can look at McTominay and Fred all you want. And yes, Fred got hooked at halftime, wrongly so in my opinion, but a whole host of them wasn't playing well. But the movement ahead of these guys was absolutely awful. Now I'll get to the 4-2-2-2 formation that under Ralph Ranier. And I, I can't help but feel that we don't have the natural players to play that formation. It was absolutely the right choice to, to scrap that formation and change it up at half time. We had to do it. I'll get onto Cavani in a minute. But they looked more comfortable in that. So look, it's difficult because you're trying to go for a transition of playing in one way. Well done, you guys. You were very good. You were very good. Um, you, going one way of playing completely to another in four games, it's not going to happen. And I did say, when Ralph Ranjit come, yes, I, I think he'll get us organised and stuff, but he's not going to be able to work miracles. He's not going to get these guys hunting in packs, running around like blue ass flies and keeping that intensity high in a space of a couple of couple of games. And, and that's exactly what's happened. If anything, we look the same. We look exactly the same. The only thing that's changed is obviously the coach staff and the manager, but in terms of on the pitch, the only thing that's changed is the formation. That's it, really. I'm looking at the players we have. Is Mason Greenwood a natural hunter of the ball? No. Is Ronaldo? No. OK, I know he hasn't been that for his whole career, but in the context of what we want him to be within this formation, he needs to be. Um, I look at Rashford. Is he a natural hunter? No, he's not. I look at um, Harry Maguire. Is he, does he want to play on the front foot? Some of the decisions he was making today were shocking. I'm not excusing my guy Varane as well. He was, he was poor for like, in, in, in certain periods of the game. Dalo and Tellez weren't amazing. Dallo, um, you know, trying to put crosses in the box wasn't really happening. It's at maximum, give him a tough time. Um, you're looking at Alex Tellez. I don't know how Cavani doesn't score the second one. Ball just played across the box. Didn't quite happen. But it was a really, really tough watch. A tough to watch. Anything? Do you know what? I need a Newcastle fan. What, what do you need to see? You guys were absolutely fantastic yeah. and did not deserve to draw that game. No, yeah. we were fantastic. Why were mate? you so good? Why was it good? Mm. We, 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 we had some outstanding players tonight. Joe Linton was Talk. fantastic. That's he? not Joe Linton. Joe, Who's oh, that no. guy? He's fucking, <laughs> I don't know. Ryan Fraser had a great game as well. Mm. You know, you, you can see the, the positives there coming from Eddie Howe. It's at maximum as well. Maxim. Doing what he does. Wasteful, I, yes. But he's I, at it. I at thought it. Maxim, I would, I would have took him off 10 minutes on the gun off mm. because I thought he, I could it. see him. He was tired. He was giving up. And, 
When well, you look at Man United, right, from an outsider looking in, what was, was you surprised at how poor Man United was? Was you surprised how dominant you guys were over us? Uh, yes. Um, Ronaldo, did he get a kick of the ball? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. Come on, he did, though. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> He was petulant today. Bruno was petulant. Yeah. And, you, and you guys were rattling us. It was yeah. like, you know, the crowd was up. You were winning your first tackle, your second tackle. And I looked at my team yeah. and I thought, I thought we just rocked up here and thought, nah, Newcastle, yeah. that would you, be all right. You were great on the wings. The, yeah. the, the, the big wide balls were, were beating us all day, but, you know, you just couldn't put the ball in. You're going to stay up on Eddie Howe? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to say so, yeah, because I think even though, you know, we don't need much twitching. Do we? we don't need that much switching. We showed the day we can play against the big boys. Play, yeah. we, we can play. We've got some heart in there. Mm. We'll, we'll do it. All the best. We'll get there. Have a great new year, my friend. Thank you. Take care. It's always yeah. good to get the honest fans of, uh, of the opposition fans that you're talking to. And he's, he's right. He's right. Um, they, just, they just wanted it more than us. And that, and that hurts. That hurts because I'm looking at it and I feel, what were we playing at? And, I, and I'm struggling to see how we're else going to turn this around with that formation in this key period as well. You know, we, we looked at Ralph's games that were coming up and said, 10 games, I'll tell you what, I'm not playing any of the top six. Yeah, fancy that. Perfect 10 games for him to, to, get, to get us going. And it hasn't happened so far. It hasn't happened. Roll on Burnley is going to be a tough game, a really, really tough game. Of course it is. But I tell you now, we keep playing like this. We keep playing like that. We're not going to get the results that we want. Um, and we're going to get more results that we do deserve, which is to not be winning games. Um, well, and getting a draw, you know what I mean? That like like today, lucky to get a draw. David de Gea, <laughs> wow. David de Gea. If it wasn't for him, easily easily lost today. That he, we come out second half looking for a reaction. Set maximum misses a sitter, but a great save from David de Gea. Second half, that one from Almiron that's heading into the top corner. I don't know how he even saves it. So look, he's kept us in the game again. Fantastic keeper. That's why he's our number one. That's why he's the best for me and always will be. Um, but aside from that, I'm really worried for Rashford. I look at Jane Sancho, I'm riding out for him. But again, I said it, it's the intensity of his game, the intensity of his runs. When he had chalk on his boots and went wide, he's managed to create some problems. So that needs to be coached into him. He can, he's, he's a good player, but I just worry about our intensity. I worry about the lack of threat that we have for players who want to run in behind and be active. I look at the teams that are, that are doing well. You look at Liverpool, you look at Arsenal, you look at Tottenham, obviously City. Yeah, I get that. But I look at their players and I look at their wide players and how much they're willing to run off the ball. Many times today I saw Scott McTominay with the ball, Fred ahead with the ball, looking ahead of themselves. I'm seeing Mason kind of just strutting. I'm seeing Rashford strutting about the pitch. Ronaldo's isolated, might make a run, nobody sees it. It's not happening. And that's going to have to change. Cavani has to play. Cavani has to play. Um, and, he, and he needs to stay as well in January. You know, I said for my own selfish reasons, if we can get him fit, there's a show a couple of times. I actually said, if we can get him going, I want to see that because this is the actual, this is the business end of the season. We're in a big games territory going after after January. So he needs to stay. And I think we saw why. We saw why. Man in the match, David De Gea, without a doubt. Then Cavani. But it wasn't, it was a game that Manchester United should have lost. We should have lost today. Um, and it doesn't fill you with confidence. There is a side of it, like I said, that isn't just Ralph Ranić saying, you know, these players are going to have to play like this instantly. There is a side of getting used to it. I understand that. But a lot of the performances I saw today was more than that. It was lack. Of, it was just lack of everything. Do you know what I mean? A lack of just willingness to play at a high tempo and do things quickly, to do things crisply, to do things concisely. I didn't really see it. I didn't really see it. So roll on Burnley. Roll on Burnley. We've got to play better than this because I tell you what, teams are looking at Man United and saying they're going through a transition period. They're playing this new formation. We can have a go. Roll on Burnley.